This video will show you how to use the online portal for scheduling your course requests for next school year. Click login. You will come to a page that looks like this where you will be able to search for the courses that you want to add. It defaults to the general course search in which you can select any department, um, any subject area, and hit search and find your courses that way. For example, if we did this, it would show us every course that this student can take. Um, we created this fake account as a 10th grader. So you'll notice all 10th grade eligible courses here. So you'll see that. Um, I find this a little cumbersome because then you also have to search your courses. Since you have the course selector in front of you and most students will have already marked or teachers have initialed, the recommended courses, using that is a much simpler way to get through this process. So if you select uh, the specify the course code, you can simply enter the numeric code that um, coincides with each class. So let's say um, I'm this student and I will be taking English 10. That course number is 01202. Separate with a comma. Uh, and then I know I want to take a geometry. I was recommended for that. I also plan to take biology this year and American history. If you know your other courses, for example, a study hall or other things, you can add them all in here. But let's say you're not quite ready for that yet. I can simply search for those first four academic classes and they come up. Um, if you put in a course code for a class that you're not eligible to take by grade level, it will not come up here, just so you know. So double check your course codes. As you can see, they're already selected and it has all the classes that I mentioned. So I can simply request those selected courses and that part's finished. It's very easy that way. Um, let's say I want to keep going. I know perhaps I know I need to take health as a 10th grader wrong number. Um, you can, like I am right now, going one at a time or more than that. Maybe perhaps I don't have the course selector in front of me and I simply want to search. Let's say I want to take a global language course. You can search this way and then find the one that you want to take. I'm ready to take French 3 and then scroll down and request selected courses. You continue in this manner until you have a full schedule. Please remember that you're scheduling for the entire school year with these requests. So not just one semester, but both. So you can see I have um, English, Isabel, two with geometry, three with biology. I have four bells of classes with American history, um, four and a half with health, and five and a half with French. So I have a bell and a half to go. So here, you want to count up your classes again, one, two, three, four, five, six, both semester classes and seven with the study halls. So I have a full year long schedule here. So I can simply view your requests. Right now it says my status is pending, so I'm not finished. So I went to review. This will tell me my total credits that I've signed up for. You can double check your lists. You can see the credit awarded for everything. And then when I'm done, I can simply submit. And that's it. The status now says approved and I am finished. If you by chance find something that you want to add but cannot um, under your course request, don't panic. That is something that you can discuss with your counselor when you meet with them in February. If for any reason you want to make a change in between the time that you put your course requests in and the time that you meet with your counselor in February to review everything, that is something that we can absolutely change as well. So don't panic if something doesn't go perfectly well or if you have any remaining questions. The goal of the online scheduling is for you to get a chance to make decisions on what you want to take after talking with your teachers and your family and reviewing the course planner and knowing what the options are and then counselors will be meeting with every student individually to review graduation requirements where you are in graduation requirements and to make sure that you've selected courses that meet your goals and um, are challenging uh, match your teacher request your recommendations 
and so on. So know that that's the next step to this process is meeting with your counselors. Thank you.